Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, today's request is from Kim Mosley. Mosley or Mosley? Forgive me, Kim, whichever way it is. This one's for you. This one's made for you. Right, well, I come down to clean up Miss Piggy's pen this morning and the drain in the corner was blocked. So I brought out the big guns. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, look, laid in your shit because I can't clean it up. Hey, a big bitch. All right, let me put this gun down. I've got to clean out her drain. Hey, you going, gorgeous? Come and tell the world. Look at you, covered in shit. Fuck my dog. Back in a sec, guys. Seriously. Seriously, girlfriend. Look how bloody dirty she is. Mmm. Oh, she'll be as clean as a whistle time I finish. Oh, take it. Take it. So I've got to measure her today to see what her weight is. Now, um, I don't think that the AI pregnancy works. I don't think so. But um, she says, yeah, it works. And I said, well, okay, darling. So um, I don't think so. They reckon tell by her nipples, but I well, know. I'm just the white boy, aren't I? So what would I know, guys? What would I know? What a mess on you, girlfriend. You big bastard, guys, I tell you. I'll just get yeah, the tape measure out after. And um, after I clean her up, then I'm going to get all poo poos over me. But, um, like I said, you can't have pigs living on rice holes which they piss on. The rice holes absorb it all, and they're sleeping in their own piss. Now, if you tell me that that is healthy, you know, but uh, then again, I have heard, heard trolls say that um, the weight of the pig on the, standing on the um, concrete is not going to do them any justice. Well, the good Lord made the bloody pigs, mate, I tell you. So if the good Lord said that that is the body of the pig, well, that's the fucking body of the pig. Now, remember, we can't change things. Same as all this bloody rainbow movement and all this tree-hugging people stuff around the country. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Remember that. So if the God made made the piggies the way they are, then they are. Now, I don't see any commercial piggeries with thousands of pigs laying on fucking rice holes. Now, if you can tell me one commercial piggery around the world, I tell you, I'll be shocked, absolutely shocked, because... They use cement and plastic, you know? So that's why I use cement, because I can hose it out every day. But this morning, this is blocked somewhere between here and the septic tank. Because by rights, pig pens cannot be washed and drained onto the outside. It must have a holding tank. And that's my holding tank there, which you can see with the vines on it. What's up, gorgeous? Gorgeous. And I know that when Jeff was here, when Jeff was here, he said, I can't believe the size of her, because there's no comparison. You know, it's sort of like, well, I'll tell you, you're right, there is no comparison. But, um, like I said, I'll get the tape measure, and I'll be measuring her out later, and uh, we'll see what she actually does look like in size. Hey, girlfriend. Look at this, oh, this is a mess. And I said, I hosed all this this morning. This is all hosed down before 6 o'clock. Oh, thank you very fucking much. Right. Mm. Right, so that drain there, that's the problem, guys. So I'll go in there and get it. Now, she won't hurt you. Pigs are very, very friendly. Now, if you have a look at the um, start of the video, if you have a look at the start of the video, there's a, there's a little insert there telling you about pigs. Have a look at that. Hey, girlfriend. They're very, apparently they're, they're supposed to be easier to train than dogs. And if you call them their names, that within um, a matter of weeks, they will actually know their name. You can call them and they'll come running out of the pack. Things like that. So um, I'll, put it, I'll put it here, actually. I'll put it here. I'll cut it right now. There you go. Have a read of that.
Seriously. Seriously, girlfriend. Uh. We'll get her out, otherwise she'll keep rubbing against me. Go in there. Oh. No, no, don't, don't, don't fight me. Don't fight me. Look, look, look how tall she is against me. Look. Come on. Right. Ow. Quick. Oh, oh. That's it. I'll put her in that pen. Look, she's, she's fucking big, guys. Look, she's over my hips in height. You know, and I'm only a small guy, I'm only uh, four foot seven. Right, let's get into this bloody machine and let's get it going. Right. Oh. Now, when you use these, these are really good machines, guys, but put your drill on a low power. Oh, look, yeah, she's got into the bloody coil now. We put a coil for her every night. I'm going to bring the fan back from the goat house. I'm going to put it back up here again so that she's got it on her of the night time. Right. So it's down in here. Uh, there it is. Turn it off. Oh, I need two hands for this, guys. I've heard that before, William. Oh, that got it out. Sometimes it's turds, sometimes it's snakes. Snakes are caught up inside. Sort of like, uh, look at that. Look at that, that didn't take long. They got it all out actually. <sighs> Beautiful. Well, see, sometimes you get the snakes go up the drains. We've had them inside the house, there's no shit. No bullshit guys. I've been cleaning out the, um, the drains inside the house, which is inside the kitchen ones on the floor. And um, I've done something, and I, I take the camera off, I've done something, I had to go outside to get something. And when I come back in, there's a two foot of snake, the size of your finger, thickness. He come out the drain, his head going underneath the, um, the cooker, the oven, the stove. Oh, fuck me, it's like, snakes, mate, snakes, snakes, snakes. All right, so what I'll do now, I'll get in and give this a hose down. And this should, should, if yin and yang's okay. So if you have the right tools, it doesn't take long to fix anything, guys. Well, this took less than five minutes to do, which is quite easy. That all goes into the septic tank now and just chills out quite nicely. Quite nicely. Right. I'll be back at you. I'll be back. Right, so that's done. So, like I said, that only took a couple of minutes. By the tools. Now, they're not expensive, these things, guys. They're not expensive at all. And like I said, the secret though is make sure you use a low speed drill. I used um, one that was a little bit fast and it rocked the shit out of it. So I had to go and buy a new one, which is this one here. But they're very, very good. And they're not expensive, guys. Not expensive at all. So, this is the box they come in. I'll put a link in the description below. This is them. Yeah, I know, young. Okay, so we're gonna see what she is. She's a little bit touchy on the shoulders at the moment. But we'll see. No, I know, darling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. Sixty-two. I'm going to take the cam off his shirt so in case she drops him. Alright, so she's showing 52 around the girth and 62 on the length. So let's just try her again. Right between the years. Okay, darling. Yep. Yep. Yep, 62. 
Okay, let's go and calculate it up. All right, guys, so we've got the calculator up. So the normal, just type in uh, weight conversion with um, out of scale. Some come up with the formulas, you just type it in. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so it is the, the girth, which is around the belly, followed by the length. So going by this, it is to measure, to calculate the pig's weights, first square the girth to get the girth result. So the girth was 52. 52 squared. Okay, now, what's to say? Now multiply the girth by the length. The length is 62. And divide by 400. Now that will give you that will give you pounds. So what she is is 419 pounds. And if we go up here to the um, pounds kilo conversion, there you go. So 419 pounds is 190 kilos. So she's a bloody big bitch. Thank you very much, darling. So she's a big bitch. So Kim Mosley, I hope that you're happy as much as I are because. Our girl is a big girl. So if you look after them, guys, you can't go wrong. So that's a hell of a weight, isn't it? So well, all we need to do is to get her pregnant and we can start making bacon again on the Aussie farm in the Philippines. But, but 190 kilos, that's not bad, 419 pounds. Hope that's answered your question. Catch you later, guys. Please share, subscribe and hit that like button.